Hi everyone, I'm Craig Harper. Welcome to Challenge TV, another awesome episode. Now, if you joined us last week, you would have seen our special documentary on the Max's Muscle Up Challenge, the most effective 12-week transformation challenge in the business, and the 10 special blokes who were named in our top 10 in 2014 that shared their incredible stories with us. Well, tonight, it's the girls' turn, and their stories are just as inspiring as their incredible transformations. So with registration for the challenge now open, we thought what better time to show you this. So I want you to sit back, have a look at 10 amazing women and their stories. Not amazing just because of what they achieved through the challenge, but because of what they were also doing before the challenge. They were just like you. They were maybe sitting on the fence at some stage, will I, won't I? We all do that. We all do that, that's part of being human. But the thing that they did, they took action. They took action, made the decision, did the work, got the result, changed their body, and change their lives. Let's take a look at their stories. My name is Gaynor Longdon. I'm 46 years of age. I'm from Perth, beautiful sunshine Perth. My name's Helen. I live in Melbourne in the Yarra Valley with my husband and my son. My name is Jo, Jo Philp. Um, I'm from Toowoomba in Queensland. I'm a FIFO worker. I work out in the gas rigs. Um, I'm a single mum. I'm 25 years old. I drive dump trucks in the mine, so I'm a shift worker. My name is Lindsay Turner. I'm 28 years old and I live in Carnarvon, WA. My name is Lyndall Trott and I live in Perth. I'm originally from Sydney but I've been in Perth for quite some time and I'm married. I'm Nerily Myatt, I'm from Brisbane. I'm married with a little girl and I work part-time. My name is Sylvia, I'm 40 years old and I'm from Melbourne. I'm Sonia from Sydney, originally from Italy. My name's Wynne Malloy, I live in Mooney Ponds here in Victoria. This person behind me, um, as you can see, is uh, overweight. Uh, stuck in a rut as well. Um, hubby and I used to just come home and have a few drinks and get into the, uh, the old position of, uh, you know, we'll do it tomorrow, that sort of thing. And, uh, you know, tomorrow never came. It was always the same day, same things happening all the time. My whole appearance, I just never had self-esteem, never had self-confidence. I never liked what I saw in the mirror. I got picked on a lot in school and teased about my weight and the way I looked and I let those people define who I was. But you know, my mother always said to me, you're always beautiful, my partner says it, but I never believe them because I never loved me. So before Lyndall was a bit uh, lost, I think. She used to be a healthy eater and an exerciser. Then kids came along and things just changed and I no longer worked, I was a stay-at-home mum. So not a lot of time in between to sort of get back to where I was before we had kids. There's not a lot to do, um, so you'd go up the coast and bring your esky full of beers and junk food and have a barbecue and snack away, really. with We'd always be eating crap, junk food, chips, popcorn. I'm a pop, I, well, I was a popcorn fanatic. I think I could eat a full microwave bag of popcorn a night, and I was doing that. I guess everyone has his story, but um, I lost my house, I lost my car, I lost my businesses. And that's not what this was about, but that's... I, I had to move back to Toowoomba because I had nothing left and, like I said, a lot of debt. I didn't, I didn't want to do that. Uh, I, left, I, lost my, I left my friends behind. I didn't know anyone in Toowoomba. The only people that are there are my mum and dad, who um, are amazing, like... And my little girl's relationship with them is incredible. And I wouldn't change anything about it for the world, like... We all go through what we go through to lead us to where we are today and, and there's a reason for that, I believe. That girl, she had no confidence. That girl never liked herself. I don't think I've ever, ever felt sorry for myself, but I didn't know how to change the situation either. Just went through, been going through 12 months of bad habits, I guess, just uh, drinking a lot of wine and eating a lot of bad food and um, probably trying to stay on track starting again on Monday, every Monday, uh, eating healthily and trying to get a bit, of ex bit, a bit of exercise in. But then come Friday, I think the release uh, was to have a drink and that just leads to other bad decisions and bad eating habits. 
and then getting back on the bandwagon on Monday and unfortunately that just never changed. Yes, I always loved sports and then eventually fitness, um, but I guess I was doing the wrong kind of fitness and also I was eating probably the wrong type of foods. I was actually in a very low place um, before the Maxine's Challenge. Um, I'd actually developed some anxiety, which at first started off being just a few things, but then got to the point where I was having anxiety attacks about everything every day. So then I was comfort eating a lot, so then I was putting on more weight. The more weight I put on, the worse I felt about myself, and it was just this terrible cycle. And the anxiety got so bad, I was looking at that I maybe wouldn't be able to go back to work. Yeah, I just felt so gross and unhappy, and I didn't feel like myself. I didn't feel confident, and I felt like I was just kind of depressed and not happy with where I was. I didn't like, I didn't like putting on clothes. I didn't like going shopping and trying on stuff and you know I should be doing that you know in your 20s and <laughs> that should be fun, something that's fun and yeah it just wasn't wasn't me. I was always left out like all my friends were constantly going to festivals wearing midriffs but I never could so I always felt left out because I could never wear those sort of clothes or do those sort of things and every time I had to go out with them I'd stress the whole week or two weeks beforehand because I had to try and find a outfit that fitted me and fitted my body but to compare against them where I sh yeah it just made me feel down all the time comparing myself to even my friends. Life before the challenge um, was very very hard for me. Um, two years ago we lost our son in a tragic accident and it put me into a really dark place somewhere I couldn't get out of at all. I just need to change my life. I needed to climb out of that hole. I needed to stop drinking. I needed to stop eating what I was eating, I, everything was comfort to me. Comfort food, comfort drinking. I love my family dearly, but I just didn't want to listen to what they had to say. And it was, it was a horrible, horrible place and it was time to move on. So most days I go most of the day without anything until lunchtime, then go get something takeout. Um, chips and a chicken roll, or it might be McDonald's, or you know, a Subway, you know something unhealthy and then I wouldn't eat anything until dinner and if I would eat anything at all. I woke up one day and I thought, oh, you know what, I don't want to be this person anymore. I don't want to, I'm not, I'm not happy and I, I want to fix it. You know, like I really enjoy walking and um, like riding, we go riding with our little girl in her little seat but um, you know, sometimes it might be like, well one week I'll exercise two or three times a week and then we might have a week where I don't do anything at all. We all have things that happen in life and I just thought things happen and they're not going to stop happening. So I've either got to change it now or live unhappily. I was in a supplement shop and I saw this DVD. So I brought it home and I said, okay, let's have a look, let's watch it. And it was just unbelievable. I saw this amazing transformation then. And so I said, oh, I, I, I really wanted to do it. I didn't know anything about Maxine's Challenge, nothing at all. And I'd heard of Max's Muscle TV, but I hadn't really watched the show. And I just happened to be walking into my local health food shop, shop one day, and I don't know, the jury's still out whether I believe in fate or not, but I walked into that shop and I knew that I had to do something for myself and my family about my weight and getting my life back on track. I saw the Maxine's magazine. I read the stories and I just loved the reality of it and the fact that you know you can look like this and change your life in 12 weeks. I'd tried other programs before, but I kept failing and I was sick of failing. I was sick of starting every Monday. When my boyfriend was putting one of his protein orders in, I had decided that I wanted to start using a protein and ordered some of Maxine's Burn and with it came the DVD for the men's um, challenge. And so I kind of saw that and I was like, oh, you know, I've never heard of this. And so I looked it up online and I told my partner, I was like, we should do this. And then I looked it up online and that's when I saw all the competitors from last year and their transformation. So it being online, that's when I saw the top 50 and I thought, you know what, this is what we can do. I'm, you know, from the before and after, in 12 weeks time, there's no way people can do that. I, can't, I, don't, I couldn't believe it, you know, some of the transformations were amazing. So yeah, so that's when Rick and I just decided we can do that in 12 weeks time. 
I found a girl at boxing. She said to me, have a look at this. I did it last year privately and she said, have a, have a look at it. And I had a look at the Maxine's Challenge, looked at it and I uh, closed my internet down and I looked at it again and again and I thought, this is my time, I'm doing it. In June, it was my kid's birthday and I was having a huge piece of cake and a friend came and talked to me about a Max Challenge and how he was thinking of entering it. And I didn't know what was that, so when I came home, I um, Googled it and I found out about the Maxine's Challenge and I thought, well, I'm gonna give it a shot. Well, I was really lucky because there was a girl that I went to school with who um, her husband actually made top 10 last year and she also participated, so I'd seen her amazing results on Facebook. And she, her name was Pippa Carhill and she's actually, um, she had six kids and, you know, she had the belly and she'd had an open heart surgery and her transformation was amazing. She went from having this belly of mum of five kids to flat belly and I thought well if she can have those results in 12 weeks like what what has she done? My friend actually got me onto it one of my bridesmaids was ringing me and because we live in different states now and she really just can't wait to go try on wedding dresses and bridesmaids dresses and I was crying to her saying I don't want to like I wanted to wear a boob tube dress but I didn't want my back fat to roll over the back I didn't want like at a wedding everyone's got photos taking photos of you at every different angle and I'm like no I'll look fat in every photo I, I just didn't like the fact of getting married and she said to me look I'm doing this 12 week challenge Maxine's do it with me and I said no I don't want to and like I had a look into it and I said oh I don't want to because the photo's got to be public and then she said just do it like what have you got to lose it's free to join. The reason it appealed to me was because it had protein supplements in it it was foolproof like you could look at it and go okay well that's when I need to take that protein and that's why like it's yeah so that's why it appealed to me and why I wanted to do it. I decided to do this year's challenge again probably when um, all the publicity started coming out so seeing I enjoyed doing it last year I decided that I wanted to do it again this year. When I first saw the plans I was like this is it looks easy it looks simple and it's something that I can do it doesn't take anything fancy and so I was just ready and I think that I had come to the point where I was just so unhappy with myself that I was like I need to do something serious about this now. I had decided to do the 12 week uh, challenge um, and I was, it was all or nothing for me. I was, I'd been on the website, I'd had a look at the eating programs, uh, the exercise programs and it was just real, everything about it was real for me and I thought, I can do this.